Love. Love is the currency of the universe. Is it? Well, there are only two basic human emotions. There is love and there is fear. Anything negative, anything you are fearing, trauma, is all fear. And everything that is loving, positive, beautiful, happy, is all love. And I'm not saying that there is no other human emotions, but those are the two sources of the negative, you know, the negative and the positive. So what can you to do to be more loving? Well, for me, as I keep saying, I'm not perfect. You know, I'm, this is why I believe that we're here on earth to, to learn, to grow, um, to be a better person. And to live life in such a way we don't need a holiday, you know, to, to have not anger, to have, to be content, to be happy with ourselves. I believe surely that, you know, life offers us many beautiful gifts. Life is full up with different opportunities for us to experience and to give. The best thing you can do in, in this world is to give love. And give presents and not I'm not talking about Christmas and birthdays and, and weddings I'm talking about the presence of your own presence you know your, your your physical presence or if that's not possible right now then being present at far by being listening you know being being a good listener being attentive by engaging that's something that I sometimes struggle with is that when someone's talking to me, I'm listening, I'm li listening to everything they're saying, but then I'm not engaging properly. I'm not talking back. I'm not saying, oh, okay, how do you feel about this? So that's really cool. I'm, I'm just listening. So that's something I've been aware of the past, you know, year, I guess of like, okay, I haven't been engaging much. I haven't been like, okay, cool. That looks really good. Like, what do you think about this? Or, you know, do you think it can be any better or you know, where you'd like to go with this, um, I tend to just listen. And then, I'm a good listener <laughs> most of the time, but, um, you know, how can I be in more love? How can I be in more service to help people, help that person who's who's talking to me to feel feel like they're listening? Because we want, we want confirmation all the time, right? Like, if we are online and we send a message to somebody we're waiting for for a reply you know we send a message to somebody we're waiting for a reply it, it's it's really bad if you ring somebody a friend or family or anybody and like you're saying hey how are you and they're like yeah okay and then you're doing all the talking you don't feel like they're engaging they're they're not paying attention and so that's another thing of myself i've really learned this past year is being more engaging and being more observant and really probing the conversation more and it's been great because it's like okay i've, I've had more better feedback um, i'm able to listen better um, because i'm very much up here in my head i'm, I'm very i'm a very visual person so these are things that i've i guess i've learned um but what can we all do you know to help others and i guess it is it is love and i mean it's not you don't have to give love in, in a passionate, romantic way. It's really giving your time to be with somebody, you know, in a way where you can give, you know, your your attention, your friendship, you know, the friendship love or the brotherly or sisterly love, you know, family, friends, as a matter, colleague, it's like you're giving your your time. You're giving a part of you to that person. I remember many um, a most beautiful moment in my life, and it probably sounds very crazy, but um, I had a problem starting up my car and the place I used to live, and I, I, I must have looked stressed out. I was there for a while, and then the neighbour, just far down the road, came over with a battery pack and say, "Hey, you got a problem?" And like, it's like you're trying to start your your car up, and I was like, "Yeah, it's not starting." So bless him. He, uh, he found that the battery was like faulty, not so good. He changed the battery for me and didn't even charge me. And I said, where's this battery from? It's okay, I had a spare one. And I was like, oh, uh, how much is that? How much do I pay? He said, you don't need to pay for me. It's okay. Just, you know, 
see this as a gift? And I was like, okay, what's going on here? And I was able to receive at that time emotionally because I was like, wow, thank you. Like, I really needed that, you know? And he was like an angel to me at the time. Very beautiful guy. Helped me very much. And um, it's just given that little bit of time to somebody. You know, the time is, time is the currency of life, but, you know, what is love? You know, lo love is the currency of the universe, right? Like, when you are able to give... I mean, that was the old currency of, of, of life, you know, like there was no money many, many, many years ago. There was just, you know, service that was like, OK, like if you help me get down that coconut from the tree, I'll help you, you know, get some water or I'll, you know, help you fix your boat. Um, it was sort of things were done in, in exchange, exchange of energy. But, and that's still what happens with 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 money it's, it is an exchange of energy. But sometimes it is abused, sometimes it is misused. Um, but inside those spaces, like, what can we do to give more love? How can we be more attentive and give our presence, our, our time to people? Um, our time is very important. And our presence in that time is very important also, because when we can listen and really observe, and really understand. I mean, it takes uh, many years to master human emotions, you know, of understanding other people. Um, and you can notice these types of people who haven't had that much experience because, like, you're trying to express something to them and they're completely oblivious to anything that's going on. Which is okay. It's how people are. It's how people are hardwired. It doesn't mean they're bad people. It's just they haven't had the experience, you know. So it's like, what can we do in that time to help them with love? of like say hey like you know you realize I'm, I'm struggling right now and they're like oh are you <laughs> it's about opening up and I think that's one big biggest thing in in relationships of, of everything you know work family friends um, romantic emotional whatever relationship it is it's about communication and it's really describing and communicating with the person that you're with whatever way you're with them, you know, friendship or whatever, um, that not everyone speaks your language. And I'm not saying if someone speaks Spanish or English, it's it's about your emotional language. Not, not everyone understands everybody. And we can sometimes feel quite like left out. But the universal language is, it's love, you know. We can understand love. I've had many um, instances um, here in nature with birds mainly. Um, mainly birds and a couple of rabbits that have like died or been injured or quite a few birds have like flown into a window and got knocked out and I picked them up and like send them some healing and they just stay they just stay with me for a little while because like they know that I'm not harmful I've helped them um, give them a bit of water and they've come they come through and then there's that love there there's that understanding and that's they can't speak they can't communicate with me in an English, you know. They can't speak English to me, but they can give their their look, their understanding. And I had that when I had Obi, my dog, like he would look at me in certain ways of, he was just so happy to see me. And when I gave him things, he was just really appreciative. And he, he never, I mean, he did actually do things for me. Um, I remember this one time when I felt very emotional uh, something had happened. I think it was to do with my my car. Something had happened to my car, and I needed to pay off something. And I went for a walk, and I was with some friends, and and I was very emotional. And he actually jumped like the fence and tried to find me. And he came and found me, and he was there. And I was like, wow, like, how does he know I'm upset? Like, our antennas are, we're in tune, you know. So love. For me, it is, it's the language and the currency of life, of the, of the universe. It's what makes things go around, you know. With, without love, we aren't able to make, we aren't able to recreate, um, procreate. Um, it, it's, the, it's the battle of the sexes, isn't it? It's the male, the positive, the negative and the, the positive. Um, it's the, the masculine and the feminine. It's these mixtures which create, it's the, these two ingredients that create life. And, you know, it's um, 
in between spaces there is magic as well and with that magic there is love and romance and beauty and and really there is love everywhere and even the darkest of times there is a, an opportunity for change and and rebirth and renewal just like the phoenix from the ashes you know reborn so yeah i don't know just wanted to share that really just um you know what can we do in this current time um to give ourselves more presence with ourselves and others to be happy to be content to be loving but also remembering not to just give up love to others but also ourselves that is the key that is the important message of that it's not about you know having things for ourselves being self-absorbed or in our ego it's you know it's giving our self love our self-loving and our self-respect of that you know what am i doing for myself would i do it to somebody else or would somebody else do what i'm doing you know am i doing the best thing for me so i just wanted to share that so anyway, thank you for watching, listening. Um, I hope you have a great day. Keep the love and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.